Hey there, Heather. Hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to a YouTube exclusive. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my Rangers shirt, but it's not a New York Rangers shirt. Everyone knows I'm a Leaf fan, but it's a Kitchener Rangers shirt. I want to tell you that I went to a couple of Kitchener Ranger games this year, well, this past weekend. Well, both Kitchener home games. It was Friday, March the 1st. It was like 5.45. I was playing emulator on my computer. And then I get a phone call from my warehouse manager, Aaron, who said he had his parents' tickets and had an extra ticket and wanted to know if I wanted to go to the game with them. I said, do you really want me to go? He said, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, why not? I mean, dude, I would love to go see the Kitchen Rangers play. So that's what I did. I He picked me up at quarter after six. We went to the odd and... Watch the Rangers take on the London Knights, a major rival. And usually when I say the city, I spit. Kind of a weird thing. But, you know, as long as I refer to them by the nickname. Well, their first name starts with L, by the way. Um, but the fact of the matter is that Kitchener took on the Knights. I saw Kitchener versus the Knights twice in 2015. Um, in February, and the Rangers won and lost. Well, won in regulation and lost in overtime, I think. But the fact of the matter is, yeah, I hate that team from the 401. Anywho, so Kitchener was down to nothing early, and it looked like it was going to be all L Towns thing. But basically, what ended up happening was that. Kitchener came back, and then in over, the first overtime, and Carson Raycroft put up an overtime goal, making it 49 goals on the season, which was great. And then I'm at home late Saturday afternoon, and I get a Facebook message from my Uncle Finney. He goes, call me at this number. I want to talk to you. So I call his number, and he says, hey, you know what? Your Aunt Brenda cannot go to the hockey game on Sunday. Would you like to go? And I said, yeah, of course. I'm like, yeah, because the reason why is because the Sunday game was the most important game. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Sunday game is important because that was the game that Kitchener was going to honor the 1981-1982 Memorial Cup champions. So it was huge and all that. You know, Kitchener winning the 1982 Memorial Cup. Taking the tournament over in Gatineau. Well, Hall, but now it's Gatineau. And having the roster. Now, 17 members of that 1982 squad was were there. And they had a moment in which they had the um, Memorial Cup at center ice. And then the 17 players were there. I have the, the video of the ceremony. Um, so, so yeah, I have, the, I have the ceremonial stuff, but I don't know if I can upload it or not. But yeah, I think I can. But yeah, I'll do that. Well, long story short, they talked about the players who were on the team and all that. And of course I look at it and I'm like, I have hockey cards of these guys. So what I'm going to do is show you the seven, the eight players. Is it eight players? Yeah. The eight players of the 1981-82 Kitchener Rangers, which I have an NHL hockey card for. And I'll talk about the, now this is basically from lowest ranked player to highest ranked player in my head. Of course, you know, everyone's list will be subjective. So here we go. First and foremost. A uh, player who I have his card, 1990-91 Pro Set, number 12 from the Washington Capitals. I think that number had to change because Peter Bondra wore number 12. But here he is, John Tucker. Of course, John Tucker, um, born in Windsor. He was 18 when he played for the Kitchener Rangers winning the Memorial Cup. Yeah, the, the Pro Set card does not describe well, 1990 Prozac. 
It does not describe Katrina Richards. It said he played for Wa. His his back story you see here. That's just his stuff. Anyway, so John Tucker joined the Caps midway through the 89-90 season from Buffalo and was one of 28 points in 38 games. He was previously with Sabres, who drafted him 31st overall in 1983. His best season in 1986. And his uncle was an all-star receiver of Ottawa. If I remember, that's Whitman Tucker, or Whit Tucker. Yeah, Whit Tucker, who actually had, I believe, was it the longest kick? 1976 Great Cup. I think it was a kickoff return for a touchdown. The longest kickoff return for a touchdown in Great Cup history was Whit Tucker. But yeah, it shows that at this point, well, at this point, he had 164 career points. But yeah, John Tucker played for the Kitchener Rangers. Uh, next up is a player I have. Another pro set card, but from the 91-92 season. Well, 91 pro set of this guy. 70 for anniversary season. He plays for the Winnipeg Jets on this card. Number 36, Mike Eagles. So, yeah, so Mike Eagles is there. From Sussex, New Brunswick. One of three maritime players that Kitchener got. He was born in 63, so he was uh, 19 when they won the Memorial Cup. It doesn't mention Kitchener, but it mentions a few things too. So, I'll give you the look at the Mike Eagles card. So, Mike Eagles, yeah. The blurb says a six round draft pick by Quebec in 1981. Mike Eagles spent several years in the Myers before going to the Nordiques in '86. He was traded to Chicago in 1988 and played two years with the Blackhawks organization, leading their farm team in goals in the 1990 playoffs. Traded to Winnipeg in December 1990. He split last year's in between Winnipeg and Indianapolis. Well, that's the Chicago Farm Club, but yeah, Winnipeg. Nine assists in 44 games. At the time, 103 points under 338 games. So, good for him. Next up on the list is a goalie. 1989-90 score of this guy from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Number one on your rostrum. His name is Wendell Young, the goalie for the Kitchener Rangers in 1982. Now, Wendell Young actually is an anatomy in hockey goaltending lore because Wendell Young won a, stand, won a championship in a lot of ways. He won the Memorial Cup, like the junior championship. He won the minor league championship within the IHL and he won a Stanley Cup. And I think he won something in the ECHL or something. But yeah, Wendell Young, it's huge and all of that. I'm going to actually um, go on the computer and with these guys. No, not John Tucker must die. John Tucker hockey. Yeah, and give you the career stats. So John Tucker, uh, Kitchener Rangers and all that. He 1990 with Washington, and then he went back to Buffalo, played 18 games for them, and then was traded to the Islanders in 91. He played four years with Tampa, doing decently for the expansion Tampa Bay Lightning. His NHL total is 436 points in 656 games. Anything interesting about John Tucker? Well, he was traded to the others, then he went to Italy, and then Tampa joined the expansion Tampa team, and then went back to Italy and Japan, and all that. Okay, so that's him. Mike Eagles. Won two more Challenge and then a couple of Kitchener. Put up 196 points in 853 games for Quebec, Chicago, Winnipeg, and Washington. Wow, he played a lot of years for Washington and was part of the 98 Stanley Cup Finals team. Wow, I did not know he played for the 98 Capitals. <laughs> Excuse me. So anyway, yeah. So Mike Eagles for the Kitchener Rangers. Played for Washington. Didn't play a lot of games, but yeah. 
Not bad, eh? Okay, my Eagles. And now let's talk about Wendell Young. Yeah, he's won four cups. Memorial Cup, Calder Cup, Turner Cup, Stanley Cup. So that's for an, an AHL championship, an IHL championship, but the junior championship and the Stanley Cup. And a Chicago and he has a jersey up. The Chicago Wolves retired his number one. Wow. Nice. So he won the Calder Cup with the Hershey Bears in 1988. Yeah, the AHL championship of Hershey, okay. And the Turner Cup, the IHL championship with the Chicago Wolves, and the Stanley Cup. Yeah, in the AHL. For Vancouver, he was at Vancouver. He played for Vancouver, and then Philly's farm club, and then he got traded to Pittsburgh, where I have his cart. And then he went to Tampa for the expansion, Tampa Bay Lightning, seven nineteen and two. Then for Tampa and Pittsburgh, and then and his crew in the IHL. Okay. Yeah, kind of a change in the format, but yeah, that's Wendell Young, and you can. And I'm gonna take, it, and then you guys can look at the back of the card and all that. Wendell Young. So the back of the card, well, the Penguins, sixteen, twenty, and three. The backup to Tom Parasso. He said, Wendell led Pittsburgh and Gaines played wins, goes against, and save percentage in 1997 season with the team. He was drafted by Vancouver in 1981. He played briefly for the Canucks and Flyers before making it with the Penguins. And then the second half of the blurb is in French. But yeah, little young. With that. Next up is a player. I have a 1991 scorecard. My first hockey card set was score 91. Always getting those cards. For the New York Rangers, number 27 on your program. His name is David Shaw. So David Shaw, let's take a look at the um, stuff. Ah, uh, now I have to, ah, defenseman. Okay, so yeah, he won a cup of Kitchener Rangers. Uh, but he played for the 84 Kitchener team that went, that went to the Memorial Cup in their home, in the hometown and lost the final to Ottawa. Putting up 10 points at that. Professional career was with Quebec, or he was drafted by Quebec, and then he was traded to the New York Rangers with John Agronak. Shaw was given a 12-game suspension in the 88-89 season for slashing Mario Lemieux in the throat. Um, he was traded to Edmonton for Jack Boogaboom. And then he played for 12 games. 12 games with the Oilers before being traded to the North Stars, getting to the playoffs with them. And then they lost the first round to Detroit, being up three games to one. And then she was traded to Boston, helping them get to the 93 playoffs and supposed, supposedly being the Amsterdam Division champs, but then they got upset by the Sabres in four games. And then he went to Tampa. And then he went to, well, yeah, Tampa, that was practically it. So he had put up 194 points in 769 career games. So, not bad. So, anyway, um, show you his the back of his card. The, the David Shaw card, a half 91 score. And it says he stayed healthy in 91 after playing in only 22 games the year before. Steady and dependable, intelligent defenseman. David was Quebec's first choice, 13th overall in the 1982 entry draft. So that, so he won the Memorial Cup and then Quebec drafted him 13th overall. Spent two years for Quebec being traded to the Rangers. He played his junior hockey with Kitchener of OHL where he was a teammate of Alan McInnes. Beautiful. I imagine Kitchener. Okay, next on the list is a player for the Quebec Nordiques who was their captain for a little bit. Number 18 in your programs. And this is a what they call in the game, uh, a separate entity uh, card thing did this thing. But there's Mike Huh of the Nordiques. And it and it shows just his Nordiques career point and then his just career stats. So Mike Huh's career, NHL career stats were 256 points, but 165 of them were with the um, Nordiques, drafted 181st overall in 1982 and served as team captain in 1992. 
So this is, yeah, so he was the captain in 1992. So yeah, in 1982, he was drafted by the Nordiques for the Memorial Cup year. Um, I know for a fact he played with the Panthers and was part of that team in 1982. That 1996 that went to the Stanley Cup Finals. He scored a famous double overtime goal for the Panthers against the Flyers in 96 in the second round of the playoffs. Yeah, Quebec traded her to Washington in 93 for Reggie Savage, and then four days later was left unprotected for the expansion draft, and the Panthers picked him up. That's right, yeah. yeah. Oh, he played for the Islanders, too. Oh, yeah, Mike Hur. All right. Excellent. Okay, next up, number th the third best player on my list. And this guy, I'm not going to go through Wikipedia for all the stats because, like, these are superstar players. All right, so number three on my list, I have a 1990 scorecard of him, 89-90 score of him, um, with the Minnesota North Stars, number 23, Ryan Bellows. So that's his card. Show the back of that. Brian Bellows. And the back of the card reads, well, at the time he put up 572 points in 593 games. This was when he scored 55 goals for the North Stars. So Brian battled back from injury prick 89 season by setting career highs in goals and points. He scored a key goal for Minnesota to defeat Detroit and get to the North Division playoffs. And then in the playoffs, he scored both goals in Minnesota's 2-1 win over the Blackhawks in Game 1 of the Divisional Semifinals. Drafted second overall in 1982, Brian was playing full-time in the NHL at age 18. An eight-year veteran, he ranked second in goals and third on the North Stars all-time list. Now, of course, this is 1990. So, yeah, Brian Bellows is an icon. Now, the, the unibrow. So Brian Bellows was a fantastic player. Um, second overall, wow, that's major. No, no Kitchener Ranger, I think, has ever been drafted number one overall. So Brian Bellows is the highest Kitchener Ranger draft. Um, so, yeah, Bellows was good for the North Stars. 91, the North Stars were, like, pathetic. But yet they were fourth in the North and got in because there were only five teams in the North, and the Leafs just blew chunks. So the fact of the matter for the Kitchener Rangers, former Kitchener Rangers, is that Bellows went to the Stanley Cup Finals in 91 for the North Stars, lost to the Penguins, and Wendell Young was on that roster as the third goalie, but Wendell Young got the Cup. So yeah, so Bellows placed Wendell Young in the Stanley Cup. Um, Bellows then went, went to Montreal. It was a trade for Mike McPhee. I think it was Mike McPhee who was traded to the North Stars for Bellows. And then Bellows was part of the 93 Stanley Cup champion Habitants and all that. And he played in the 98 Stanley Cup final, I think, for Washington, as well as Mike Eagles. So, yeah, I think, if I remember right, Brian Bellows for Washington. But, yeah, Brian Bellows was a good player. All right, so here's number two on the list. Um, I have it's 91-92 upper deck of this guy. Uh, where the Calgary Flames, number two, at the time, number two is Al McGinnis. Show you the back of the card for Al McGinnis and upper deck. Didn't really put any, like, blurbs on the back of them. So that, yeah, from in person Nova Scotia. At the time of the card, 90, finished the 91 season, 609 points in 606 games for Al McGinnis. For in furnace. So, yeah, so Al McGinnis, great player for Calgary. I don't, I think he was drafted high by the Flames. But, yeah, he was a Calgary mainstay at defenseman until 1994 when he was traded to the Blues and had his crackling shot help the Blues out. Him and Pronger were a great day pair. I don't remember. I don't think Al McGinnis played for another team. Yeah, I'm just going to go through Wikipedia to see if there's any Brian Bellows tidbits I missed. He was a hot prospect. Oh, he was featured in Sports Illustrated. That's right. Sports Illustrated did a piece on him. 
and you're drafted second overall by the North Stars. That was huge and all that. Gutierrez actually had the second pick in the draft, but Minnesota made a trade with them. He was compared to Gretzky. He did well and then was traded to the... Oh, no. I screwed up. I said Mike McPhee. It's Russ Courtnell that was the guy who was traded to the North Stars from the Habs. He was just played for the Habs, and he did well. Yeah, he went to the Stanley Cup Finals in 98 for Washington, and then he got his 1,000th career point in, in the 99 season and retired. And, of course, Kiefer Bellows is still sticking around somewhere. Yeah, so he got to 1,000 points. Um... Yeah, Al McGinnis, part of one, the 100 greatest NHL players in history. Great for being a defenseman and all that. Part of the 2002 Stanley Cup, I mean, 2002 championship uh, gold medal team. And then he had an eye injury in the 2003-04 season, so he was, so that basically ended his career in effect. Yeah, detached retina, all that. So yeah, he played for St. Louis. Only two teams, Calgary and St. Louis. Now, 1,274 career points. And number one on the cards list, I have this card, a pinnacle card, 97, well, 1997 pinnacle of this guy, New Jersey Devils, number four, a blockbuster, as the boards say, Scotty Stevens. See him? And pinnacle, just like the other one, does not do the blurb on the back. So this is just the back of Scott Stevens' card. Pinnacle with the Capitals, Blues, and Devils. At the time, he had 746 points in 1,120 games. I know for a fact that he had plenty more in the tank after that. So, let's take a look. Yeah, he was from Kitchener. And did all that. Taken fifth overall in the 1982 draft by the Capitals. So it's weird having two Kitchener Rangers be in the top five in an NHL draft. Drafted. Scott Stevens played for Washington for many years and then was given a chance. St. Louis courted him and offered a four-year deal. Uh, they got two first-round. They got two first-round picks as compensation, and they. Killed Sergei Gonchar and Brandon Witt with those. So this was huge and all that. He had he was made the highest paid defenseman. And it was weird. He only lasted one year. Yeah, he only lasted one year with St. Louis. He was good for the Blues. But when the Devils lost Brandon Shanahan to St. Louis, at the time, New Jersey could get compensation and all that. And an arbitrator gave him Scott Stevens. They didn't know what compensation because the Blues still owed first round picks to the Capitals. Other comp they couldn't do draft picks as compensation. The Blues offered Curtis Joseph, Rod Brindamore, and two draft picks, but the Devils got Scott Stevens. This was huge. I mean, it actually worked out. St. Louis did well with Cujo in that, and Rod Brindamore was okay. But I think Brindamore went to Philly in a trade later on. But anyway, he refused to report to the Devils and all that. And he went into any career with the Blues, but they managed to finagle stuff to him. So he had a massive legacy and all that. 1,635 career games, 908 points, 2,700 penalty minutes. But dude, he won not one, not two, but three Stanley Cups with the Devils. So yeah, Scotty Stevens will always be a great player and all that, helping the Devils win not one but three cups so yeah so scott stevens to me is the best i mean you could say is he better than al mcginnis i don't know but yeah so those are eight players from the 1982 kitchen arrangers that won the memorial cup and were fed it on sunday which i got to see so yeah research pays off in the end so anyway thanks for watching i'm jeff diamond